The Etendard 4M Strike Fighter is flying for France in War Thunder. Let's take a look. The Etendard 4 is an interesting plane, and we have a midlife version of it in War Thunder, the Etendard 4M. This was a slightly upgraded version, but what we have in the game is actually closer to the baseline iteration of the plane. A couple of technical gripes. First, in real life, the 4M had a fifth centerline pylon. We're missing that in War Thunder. The center pylon was intended to carry a tactical nuclear weapon, and it's noticeably absent from the 4M in War Thunder. Also, the M had a Swedish-made BT-9F bombing computer to help make precision ground strikes. Well, like with many other strike fighters in War Thunder, this plane is missing a ballistics computer, even though it had one in real life. Gaija knows, and supposedly the issue was forwarded to the devs, but don't hold your breath. For whatever reason, we're forced to do blind bombing with this plane. Now, with those gripes mentioned right up front, the Etendard 4M isn't trash. I really enjoy this plane, even though it's kinda quirky. The first thing to mention is that, like most other jets, you don't start with any useful weapons unlocked. So, you're gonna have to use guns to grind out a couple of weapon loadouts, and it is beyond tedious. So, prepare for that. The a 10 Dart 4 m has a pretty light weapon load, even after you get stuff unlocked. As I mentioned before, you only have four hard points, and while you do have a fair number of weapon options, the total weapon load will be quite small. I generally go with two medium bombs and two sidewinders for a little multi-roll capability. You can also opt for larger bombs if you want to do more damage to, like, strategic points or, or take out ground targets a little more easily, but you sacrifice your outer wing pylons if you do that. You get an air spawn, and in missions, I've usually been able to drop my bombs before getting intercepted. And actually, I tend to have a really good luck with this plane. For whatever reason, I tend to get pretty favorable matches with it, and can often get two or even three loads of weapons delivered before the match ends or I get shot down. Of course, that would get a lot more points if it had a heavier set of weapons, but still, I found the A10 Dart 4M generally non-frustrating to play. It isn't a dogfighter, but if you're lucky, you can occasionally maneuver in for some air-to-air -air kills, especially if you take the Sidewinders. Overall maneuverability is about what you'd expect from a ground attack jet. You can't outturn an F-86 or a MiG-19, but you can hang in there with other ground pounders. Engine performance is decent, even though there isn't an afterburner, and the A10 Dart 4 is strictly subsonic. It's a little slow on takeoff, but it accelerates well in between about 500 kph and 900 kph. Landing performance is excellent. The plane has a drag chute and an effective air brake. It's a naval jet, so you have an arrestor hook, but I've yet to find any opportunity to use it. Maybe someday we'll get carrier group versus carrier group air battles or something, but not today. One area where the A10 Dart 4M can potentially shine is as close air support for ground RB. You get two air-to-ground missiles, the AS-20 and AS-30. The AS-20 is basically a lighter bullpup, but the AS-30 has an enormous warhead with 125 kilograms of explosives, roughly the same as the 500-pound bombs the A10 Dart 4 can carry. Now, fair warning though, both of these weapons are manual command line of sight, so you have to steer them into the target by hand using some key bindings. I suck at that. So I tend to use these more like unguided rockets that actually fly straight and are relatively accurate. If you're having trouble getting hits with blind throwing the dumb bombs, these can also be a viable alternative when attacking ground targets, even if you don't guide them in, because they have an enormous warhead and even a near miss will still be able to blow things up. A fair warning though, if you take the air-to-ground missiles, that's all you're going to get. These loadouts sacrifice your internal guns. So, yeah. Now, the cockpit is very well done. If you fly in an internal cockpit view or in VR, you'll get some really good visibility, useful instrumentation, and a generally good gun sight. They did a great job with this one. 
actually using the Aten Dart 4M in RB matches isn't too much of a struggle. You get an air spawn, and my general mission profile is usually what I do in Strike Fighters. Fly in low, dodging trees, execute a pop-up attack on a strategic base, and then hunt for targets of opportunity on the way back to the runway for more bombs. Since your weapon load is so light, you're going to be heavily dependent on finding those targets of opportunity if you want this to be an RP grinder. And given its location in the French tree, it's quite likely that it might fall into that role for you. It costs about 9,500 silver lines to repair, so if you find yourself getting shot down early in missions, it might be difficult to keep a net positive silver lion income with this plane. If you're planning to grind with this one, keep an eye on your silver lions to make sure your income is at least breaking even hour over hour. Overall, the A10 Dart 4M has a few things going for it. It's got a fair selection of weapon loadouts that can suit a wide variety of different playstyles. It has heavy air-to-ground missiles, well suited for close air support. And it has decent speed for a subsonic plane. But there are always a few trade-offs. The A10 Dart 4M has no countermeasures or radar warning receiver. While you have a good variety of weapon loadouts, they're all very light weapons. You have no ballistics computer, so you're limited to blind throwing your bombs. But don't worry though, it's a known issue and has been forwarded to the devs. My final thoughts on the A10 Dart 4M is that it's a really fun plane to fly, even if it only has pretty average effectiveness in combat. It's good, even if it's not the best. As always, thanks for watching.